Yes, thank you very much, Auntie Miriam. The next case we will get now from the Elvis Lenko. Uh, permit me if I mutilate. Okay, Danny, please, but quickly. Say, we then come forward, then come from Cameroon. Okay. They alleged say then give somebody money, make the person do documents for them, make them travel. Okay. So that person, we don't they call the person number, the number has been switched off. Sit there, sir. So since they come for Cameroon, we no one continue to keep them as we don't they call the numbers and they switched off. That's why we want to do them on air. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, Auntie Miriam. Good yes. morning, Brigade Please family. Please talk to the mic. Make you hold the mic well. Good morning, Brigade family. Good morning. My name is uh, Elvis Lonku. I came from Cameroon. We came here. Give your sister, may she introduce herself before you tell us what happened. Good morning, Brigade family. Good morning, Auntie Miriam. My name is Che Duruti. We know hear you. My name is Che Duruti. Che Duruti. Yeah. Yes. Good morning, Brekete family. Good morning, Auntie Miriam. My name is Che Jude. Okay. So who go talk amongst you now? Who go talk amongst you? Okay. I will talk. All right. Then please hold the microphone steady and put it close to your mouth. Okay. So we came here in uh, January for a traveling program. We were five in our group with our Cameroon agent. Because he was the one who took us because he knew the guy here in Nigeria who is following the line. So we gathered the money we gave to that our agent because we were in a group. So we could not handle the money one after the other. So all of us came here in Nigeria on the 8th of January. So why coming here it was that the flight will go on the 10th of January. So that the Nigeria agent by name was Eso Samuel said we should come and then travel on the 10th of January. So we should come along with our money. So we came and then handed over the money to our Cameroon agent. He went and gave to the man here. So on the 10th, we were expected that they would call us at the airport that we should come and travel. So on that 10th, uh, the man called and said the flight will not go again, that they have been shifted it to the 15th of January. Mm. So we waited on the 15th of January he called again and said the flight will not go on the 15th of January, that he will go on the 19th of January. We waited again on the 19th of January. The flight did not go. He came now. We started accusing our age Cameroon agent. Now, let it not be that he has come and then handed us to a bad person or to a wrong person. So he called the man now. He came to us in the hotel where we were lodging. He came and talked to us and told us that we should not bother, that the flight will go. We now asked the date. He said we should just wait. So when he left again, uh, he called back and said the flight will go on the 25th of January and that there's another amount of money that we are supposed to give to him again and that we must give it. If we don't give it, we will not follow the flight. So we asked how much, say each of us will give $700. So we are five in a group, we gathered the $700. It was now $3,500 we sent to him again. On that 25th of January, the flight did not go again. When we called him again, he called and said that, no, we should just hold on, that they are struggling to take landing permits from the country and they are not giving it, then uh, we should just hold on. So we got angry now. Then we accused our agent that maybe he's the one who is uh, not following up this man. So our agent went to him and talked to him. He just asked our agent that we should hold on. That's how we stayed. We stayed on the 23rd of uh, March now, we discovered that this man was not a real man. We took the case now to the police station at Abacha Road. We went to the police station, we reported him with our own agent in Cameroon because since we accused our agent for a long, he now said, let's all together go to the police because his hands are free, his hands are, he don't know anything about this thing. So let's take this man to the police so that he will best explain it there. We took him to the police station at Abacha Road then at the police station, uh, the GPO that was there handled the case very well and then gave the man the condition that he will sign an undertaking that within one month if the flight, because when the man went to the police station, he was still insisting that the flight will go. So the GPO there said, no problem, I will give you a benefit of doubt because the first time you are coming here. And then uh, he gave the man one month that if the flight doesn't go within one month, he will refund us back our money. 
And then they asked him how much we gave him. He said, he said the exact amount because we gave him 18 million, five of us. Hmm. So before the three thousand five hundred dollars. How much you give him, you? Me, I yes. give three point six million naira. Each of us, it was the same. All of us gave the same okay, money. The same amount. The 3. same amount. Six million, million. naira. The five yes. of una. Yes, before the seven hundred dollars. So he signed an undertaking at that police station that within one month, if the flight doesn't go, he will refund back our money. So we went and then stayed again within that one month. It was March 23rd. So he said by April ending, the flight will go. So we waited. That April ending that came, the flight did not go. We went back to the police station. The officers that took the case to the DPO, they started turning us around because we discovered the flight will not go. Now the uh, officer now were instead of telling us that the, the man has explained to him that the flight will go in May. We now say, but that was not the agreement that we came here. And then so the, the man just the ton -ton -una. Yes. We'll say after two days he go extend. Extend time. the date. After two days yes, he, he go extend, extend the date. So now we at that moment we thought the DPO was still there. Now we insisted that we want to see the DPO. Now the officer, who was a woman, she was just turning around. When we insisted now, she now told us that the DPO has been transferred. So okay. after we have come there for one week, she did not tell us that DPO has been transferred. We now say what will we do? So we should take the case to a new DPO. He said we should write another complaint again. We said no, we cannot write another complaint because if we start back afresh again, it will take us another term now again. So this Nigerian man, where in there now? He's at Abacha Road. So he did live for Abacha Road? Abacha Road, yes. Okay, do you have his number? Have yes. you people called him before? We have not called him. Okay. <laughs> So we go call him now, make we hear in own side of this story. Okay, ma'am. Okay? So okay, when ma I get the number here, quickly please give consultants Ike the number. Make we call him. We get plenty Wuruwuru agents for Nigeria. That's Zero now why sometimes Where's they the advise people say, if you want travel, make you you yourself you go fit even search online for the appropriate agencies where you go help you do your documents sometimes advisably go immigration office if you before so the NPN number you have dialed is currently switched off please try again later thank you so when i've been done tell them say when i go come human rights radio and television make when i come report them huh? Number we did not tell him that will come here. Off. Please try again later. Auntie Mariam. Sir. Um, it good make we also put out a little for this talk because uh, in the past couple of weeks we have seen crime in this direction complain. Yes. Over 1,000 of them and the uh, majority of the complainants involve Cameroonians. And then uh, a few Nigerians also. And then uh, their fellow countrymen and women, Cameroonians, be the link persons or principal persons in waiting we don't see. And the crime border on travel. Travel. If you check also for waiting we don't see, most of them not be saying uh, proper travel because if you they do proper travel, mm. you don't have any reason to leave your country to go travel from another country. Mm. Even if na country where we say the embassy of the country where you they go, no day there, you can apply for your visa because that country, that embassy we say they cover this region. You can apply from where you are or just visit to take your visa directly. And uh, I want to say this because I know say if na one area where people, if this na one area where people don't discover say na cheap area to defraud people and make money, mm. if we know begin to to expose them, he go continue. Yes. And now part of the reason why Kelechi make talk this morning, say, make we still bring this case. If you check now, even yesterday, he get one, where that one say, if he talks, say, they do over 500 persons, him pay 8 million for himself and his brother. I sent them to force headquarters yesterday. They just, even as I they talk, in tell me say they stranded, saying I found completed building, it they sleep. The money to go to the first headquarters, I had to look for money by myself to give them. So make we open our eyes. 
mm -hmm. make we open our eyes any of these things where you go here say travel work day this one the other one day they go to arrange no be genuine make we talk them this one will be say they go tell you flight no go today flight go tomorrow you know sound like even from beginning it sound like story where just be a uh, cock and bull story mm -hmm. how they go talk say uh to the airline get clearance to land in the country and every time and everything so now now get travel. the flight where you consign on how you go get airline how you go get a clearance to land i beg make nigerians shine their eyes some of them now like this one now nigerians go follow them to complete the work but now their people they link them up in the matter on this and the last one where we do where they catch the woman for civil defense, he go fend there. That one will involve almost a thousand persons also. Mm. You remember, na Cameroonian. Make we shine our eyes for our brothers and sisters where they for Cameroon. No, this, any of this opportunity, no be genuine. You know they genuine. If you suppose travel, you want travel, you fit make your journey direct and your processing of paper with the embassy, mm -hmm. not with any agent. any agent. Most of the times, all of these agents that present this, whether they go tell you say in a conference or in a meeting or in a work, they get work, they are not lie. No be true. Thank you. Make we appreciate consultant. I So we we'll go still we don't call in number in number they switched off so it can't be like say they don't already inform him say when i don't come this place and when i want me complain that now why this man switch off info but we don't know we know go fit and they setting whether that not the reason why in switch off info my sister you want says you want talk please put the mic directly and talk Okay, you ask us whether we inform him that we're coming here. Yes. The last day we went to the police station that they call all of us the IPO. So she said, because when I went there, as they were telling us, we came here on the seat of me, but unfortunately we did not know the program. So on arriving here, it, it was already closed. So I said that since the DPO has already handled the case, let me just try look for the number of the DPO and call him. So I called the DPO. He answered, and then I introduced myself. He asked me, Madam, you people are still in Nigeria? I say, yes. He said, you people have not gone? I say, yes. He said, they have not refunded you the money? I say, yes. He said, go back to the station. We went back to the station. She, he called the IPO. That the IPO should come and call the guy to come and refund us the money, because before he left that station, he has finished with the case, and it was already concluded that the money will be given to us by the end of the month. So the IPO took, he left us there, entered again and talked with another person, and then came now, called us. We went in. We don't know what he explained to the other policeman. So the policeman, the, both of them said that we are wasting our time coming here because they don't know us. Mm -hmm. That the only thing he can do is that he will send the case to court. And then I said, if it's to court, I prefer that we go to the human rights radio. So she exclaimed, that what? Human right? He said, she said that she cannot send us there. I said, okay. And then we went away. When we went away now, I talked to now our the present own. woman, we know greater when I, yes. whether did Each they time we go there, the she DPO. said that she's talking to the boss, to the aviation boss. That the aviation boss has promised her that we'll travel. Each time we go, she said we should go. She's talking with the boss and she's talking with Sam the agent that they are communicating the we, same way deep una. yes we say madam this is the same problem we brought here because they, they have been giving us dates and the dates come and pass now we have come you have joined them still to giving us that those same dates he said that we should go that the boss uh, vision boss i said that we should travel so we went now we were angry that is when i called our own agent i wrote him that same day that we left the police station that the woman refused that i talk about human rights before i arrived the house the sam threatened me that, she, that he heard that I've said I'll bring the case to the human right. I will not leave Nigeria alive. That he will make sure that he killed me before I leave this Nigeria. That he wants to become the governor of Nigeria. I want to go and deform his character. So he will sue me for deformation of character. So by now the, call him, call you, send you that, and uh, tell you the truth. I've been a text he sent you. Now to. call, he call somebody, see me the person, tell me. He called somebody back to Cameroon that I'm related with. Because how did he get the number? They took our passport and it was like they did not want to give it. So I gave number back to Cameroon and they called him. 
that he should refund our passport. So that's how he got the Cameroonian number. So Any conversation what would they do with any one of them? The yes. recorder. Yes, I have recorded conversation. Good. Because one time he was talking with me. Yes, I have conversation that he, because even one time our agent called him that he will report the case to another body of I don't know law. So he called the man called now the me and told me that I, would, I should tell our agent not to go there because it will not be easy with him. He sent it through texts with me. Even the voice me that he sent that we should give seven seven hundred dollar is with me. So, or, he conversed with us. He used to come to us. All the conversations are there. So right. when he threatened that, that he'll kill us, that's when we separated because we were afraid. Because he already know the hotel. Talk to the mic. He, he already know the hotel in which we were staying. So we separated now. We just separated so that he cannot locate us. So okay. since that April, we have just been hanging around. Okay. So Yes, sir. Consultant Ike. This uh, matter now way the ground mm -hmm. about these people. I don't know whether we go fit still visit the police station so that make we get the information from them. Okay, uh, mm. maybe make we try call the PPRO and see. Okay, please make we call the PPRO. Since the matter done already, the police station make we hear. Nah, SP Jospin at the at the call. Hello, good morning, Gay. Good morning. Yes, my name is consultant Ike, and me and you there live on Breakete Family uh, Reality Radio Television and Magazine program. Good morning, Breakete Family. Good morning. Good morning. I beg you go also introduce yourself. Make people where they follow us know who we the vano with. My name is S.P. Josephine Adi. I live in the Public Relations Officer, CPR, FPC Police Command. Mm, I can appreciate them. As the Public Relations Officer, PPR, uh, uh, Police Commander Abuja, I believe say today will be public holiday. You no go there for house, you there at work too. You no, we know they we know they do public holiday with the work. Okay, oh, okay. Um, it gets reason where I call you. It be like saying that the era of traveling uh, fraud or traveling agencies fraud. We don't they see plenty of them. Some we don't report to you. Even yesterday, I sent one Cameroonian to you, and majority of the people where they involved now Cameroonians. So today again, we get some set of people. They are own now uh, over 18 million to one man. No, be only say the man uh, never give them if they turn them around he still they threaten their lives so i don't know whether you go still want make with adam or go too much for you no no problem you can say meet me for office at the office so that we go see how to take uh start to uh find these people mm. Mm. make an appreciate them now So the fee begin come now, or which o'clock you want me to come? No, me then come now, I think. Oh, thank yes, you. Thank you. Make her appreciate her. Auntie Mariam, you don't hear him? Yes, sir. Mm. Okay, thank you. thank you very much. But before you go, hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, hey, before you go, as we, we say we don't call you, and this is a Salah holiday, which message will you get for Nigerians where they live for inside FCT? And even for non-Nigerians, visitors are like, you know, say here, now the capital of Nigeria. Everybody where they're important, they here. They come here or pass here every time. Uh, the message what I get for them is they make everybody relax, go enjoy in Salah. Mm -hmm. Every other thing will be take care of. But at the same time, make the watch out any information where you see, anything where you see, where, where they are very suspicious. You go see us out, we come out plenty, massively, we be everywhere. Mm -hmm. Don't use the number, call me or call the command number or meet the, the, the closest police to you and give us the information. 
so that you go you go our eyes you know see our back on time mm. so you make your, your when you see something try to reach out to us we day out today you know even the speak mm. so that you will enjoy your salad so happy salad to all the FCC residents mm. thank you thank you, thank you appreciate much. So we now go go meet the PPRO. So we now go explain to her everything, and she go take up the matter. Yes, Kelechi. Yes, Auntie Mariam. We also get some other people to wait for studio. Okay. Same case, same person. So we yes, I think then they they fit come forward also okay because as in the okay, talk, they are all reports they different they yeah. come separately yes. but not the same person. Not the same. Not the same issue. Uh, so maybe. I don't know whether you even want to hear them. So they, all of them will go meet uh, SP Josephine as a group. Okay. Uh, make make come. come. Make come mm. quickly. Thank you, Mary. Mm -mm. Hmm. Sit down, sit down, sit down quickly, quickly. We don't have time. Good morning. Good morning. Talk to the mic. Good morning. Good morning. What in be your name? Uh, my name is Na Giando Alungamo. I'm okay. from the southwest region of Cameroon. Okay. And my brother is Tim. Give and make it chop onions. Good morning, family. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Na John Kemcha from Cameroon. Okay. Yeah. So, waiting Na the same man, Dupuna. All right. Yes, give us your own quickly. Uh, na the same man, the same company. Okay. Because it's a it's a structured company. Okay, what will be the name of the company? It's a three-star aviation uh, training institute. Okay. We have been even to the office. It's at uh, Maraba. But unfortunately, I've called the secretary several times. She doesn't See how we do hold office. our mic. I've been making a show how we do hold our mic here. See, I'm sorry. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We no have called... We have called the secretary several times and um, she has not uh, responded. Last time we had the immigration because um, we had a problem at the police station. Um, the boss of Three Star Aviation had to come and remove us from there. So we went back to the mama, the chief of the center, it's a lady. She said, Let's, we explained everything to her, and she said, no problem. She will call them since uh, they, are a, they, are a, they are related. Okay. She has called them severally, but to no avail. You said they are related. How? Like blood uh, or family or which one? No. Or uh, friendship? The same Samuel. It's as if his parents were immigration officers. Okay. Yes. So when we came to Nigeria on the 8th of January, if you look here, I have some documents. When we come in, they presented us this one. Please. Okay. You give consultant. I just hold the mic steady and be talking. Let your brother... They gave us that one. Documents. That was for departure of the 8th, or, or the 15th of January. Okay. After that one, they gave us another promise. I think it was on the 25th of January, which did not hold. Later on, they gave us this one, which was on the 23rd of January. So, in short, now the same would way mm -hmm. they do this ones every time we go, they divert, una, postpone, una yeah. flight, postpone, una flight. How much you give them? I, for one, I gave him 4.2. 4.2 million. Yes, and okay. we are seven of us. Seven. Yes. Now the same amount your brother. My brother gave him. four million. The other people gave them f gave four. Give and make it make it talk and buy himself. How much did you give this man? Yeah, I'm um, here with my junior brother. I paid the agent nine million for the two of us. Nine million. That is four point five four each point of five, you. Four point five. Yes. Hmm. How would I sabi this person in question? Is it the same Cameroonian agent that was working with them? Nine take introduce Una to this Nigerian man? Not. I don't think their agent is our agent. Okay, so what is your own agent's name? His name is Julius. I think I wrote it on the complaint. Okay. Yes. So and you have you met him with regards to your money? We have discussed with regards to the money. What he told us was um, they cannot refund. Everything has been Everything has been engaged already. If you want, I can read the last communique they sent. Okay, no, just hold them there. Mm. Consultant Ike, 
if it they possible make we join these ones together as we say now the same the same case the same person yes as the ppr talk even when she answer you hear say she sound like person where they're ready for even if they reach 100 mm. and when i ask them whether i go too much you say no 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 okay. then they're ready all right even as today in a public holiday you see say then they for work mm. Mm, make we join them but uh we go still the uh, appeal to people appeal to nigerians appeal okay. to cameroonians okay where we say make them no allow desperation for travel mm. go make them waste the little money Sources. where they get mm. all of these things cannot be true you don't need to pay anybody five million two million even to get visa no embassy go charge you even up to 200,000 naira mm -hmm. as your visa processing fee. If you have any business to do with the embassy to process your visa, their fees, no embassy fee reach 200,000 naira. And a straightforward application process. Mm -hmm. All of them have the application processes in their website. You no need any person. But most of the people where they fall victim to this, now people where they look for how to jackpot, People where they look for how they go take a escape travel, either in pretense of going for conference seminar, they no plan they to no come, back. come back. Yes. Or they, they look for how to follow corner corner way, send a walk where then they go get for that no be true. All of this money, there is no how where person put together four million naira, put them into small business where he begin do mm -hmm. in his house or around them. Where in two years they no go make something meaningful. Mm. Some of the businesses where we they talk about here, like uh, the export uh, uh, training, where collect them they do. Now less than hundred thousand. You no need if you have two million put inside. You don't become millionaire within yes. a short time. Yes. The other ones like fish training, fish farming. Mm. If you carry two million or three million startup, one year you don't become something meaningful. Mm. So I don't know why how person go con they put all of this. I travel all through my travel. I no use any agency. I know be one country I go, and then they there at that time, and I know. Mm. The maximum I feel use agency do now to book ticket, and even now will be information age. You no need them to book ticket. Hmm. All right, make we hear from Mommy Felicia. Good morning. Good morning, Mom. Mm. Good morning, uh, my bracket family. Good morning. This one where would they talk? I beg. If I, I stand up, I go fall. Mm. Can I sit with no, your permission? Mommy, can I please sit down. Yeah. Sit down, mommy. This one where will not they travel from uh, Cameroon come here? Wait till, I want to know what they can do. I be they not go ask the question. Where you carry a whole four million, give one person. It's risky. I as a person, next month that will be eighty six years. I can never in the whole of this world, we, we don't do it. I go carry, I don't go Cameroon, I don't go uh, Togo, I don't go all Af West African country. Go US, go America, go London, go Spain. I never spend money. What you do not pay money can do? They know they ask that one. Abby? Thank you, Mom Felicia. Make we appreciate Mom Felicia. Yes, my brothers and sisters, if I look time, I go see say time, don't give us signal. Signal make we do it in signal, make we they not they go. So we now go go back. In, in fact, we now go stand up now immediately because uh, the PPR will talk say she wants to see we immediately for her office. Okay? Thank you. Make we hear from um, Karimat. Quickly, please. Um, thank you very much, Auntie Miriam. Good morning, everybody. Good I morning. believe say so get some questions where we Make suppose you ask your, them. My name is Karima Haruna. Um, I believe say so get some questions we suppose ask them. We go help security for this country also, mm. because why they not go where did they go from their country? Mm. How they take enter this country? What was their excuse? And then apart from that, the security 
um, threats where this matter go post go day very very huge in the nearest future would not be even future very soon because see the number we we don't treat before we fool this seat fool this other seat mm. over 20 people now yeah. now these persons are v loose in the city w roaming around they they are frustrated and before you know crime will increase here mm. so it's it's really something i think the police or the people at the airport or at the borders should t should look into thank you thank you very much thank you <laughs> yes it's very important because um the same way you go see say our nigerians too they leave come out the country illegally they travel and one the way they surprise me be say this kind of thing they happen most people know they even learn from other people mistake or until they themselves they make the same mistake why we say they won't make that same mistake when i know say they don't already they tell when i say if you want travel we get our authorities where they legal where you go fit go make all your inquiries if not the immigrations you go go there anything way pertain to travel and documents they go take handle them and if you want travel go another country if the embassy day for nigeria go straight to the embassy to make your inquiries they will tell you what to do so that you know go pay this huge amount of money and how much be the money we're talking about millions of naira. Some people from Nigeria here now with just less than hundred thousand naira that they need, they need to even start up business. And this money now we then take give this person now just one person. If to say now they sit down for their own country, carry this money, put them for inside business. I should say by now the money from that last year where they put that give this man the money till this year, where we did now the money for don't double or you don't triple. Because anybody where they financially disciplined, you can't put that kind of money, not be even all, you just put maybe a half of the money they monitor, that money will go increase. So our security agencies to make them, they touch light people, it get plenty of them. It gets a lot of them where they this country, where they roam about. They don't get correct documents. You go begin to wonder in the first place, how they even take enter our country. Whoa. And how they take meet with these agencies and make the security agencies too they look at this they touch light these people where they do this wuru agencies they did plenty sometimes if you walk off a road you get place where you go you go just drop they go begin they tell you ah now agent i be i they do this i they do that you go see even say for traffic they go begin they distribute their uh, flyers they go they distribute their flyers and one interesting thing about this people, eh, they go fit gather up to 200 people, do better seminar. The way they go do the seminar, it go switch you for belay. Because now people will get words for mouth. They go do seminar so that they go convince you. Tell you, say, if you travel, see the good things where you go get. This one, that one. When I think, say, even them where they are abroad, they know get people where them two days stranded. For their own country too, they get people where the now government they give them shelter and not their own people. Um, um okay, make we just give them more Felicia. So make we make uh, our Nigerians make we, we not be careful with the kind businesses or the kind agents where we not they do business with. Yes, mommy, quickly. At Maria, thank you. God will bless you for okay. this topic we did down today that was how we lost bakasi to cameroon we have lost a lot of important thing in this country we have so many people that are moving around in this country that are not nigerians i understand that more than every day more than 10,000 people they die outside this country if they see a nigeria they catch them anybody where they walk out for street you say you are from where nigeria they catch you go jail now die they die you now by the way what are they doing in this country? They should investigate people properly. The other day I was sitting in my car wash. I learned French in school. I can hear a little bit of French. It's a very long time. The people washing car are not Nigerians. They are French, French people. Then they talk and they listen and they listen and they listen. Now I carry my phone, phone police. Four of them are begging, make not come carry them. Where your passport will you take enter this country? No passport. We have to send them back to their country.
because crime, crime, crime. They are killing our people innocently in this country. Small time, they say Boko Haram. They are killing our people, though. Huh. Thank you. Make you appreciate Mommy Felicia. Anyway. <laughs> yes, thank you, Auntie Miriam. Thank I you. think everybody they don't talk well. But one thing we, we need to understand is that these things where they happen mm. now the domino effect of bad leadership, especially in West Africa. Mm. And now waiting Africans, especially West African leaders, they need to come together and ask themselves strong questions. If you look at the median age of Africans, it did less than 21. Now too much youth, too much energy. And at the same time, too, now waiting many people wish they get as we they talk. So you mean say now people will be saying they're full of life, full of energy, their future, they are ahead of them. Mm. And the picture where our leaders need to paint, you need to be clear to these people where every youth go understand, say, we forget this thing here while remaining here. So you don't just be like, say, they get imaginary fire where they happen, but because that everybody they try jump, come out. So everybody need to ask themselves these same strong questions. And at the same time too, the law enforcement way they wait on the handle the case, where they are tested they handle them well. Hopefully they go do the needful so these people will come up because we didn't bring them come in, in the first place. Now because somebody collect their money or an agency collect their money. And part of even the information too, where they're supposed to bring, even though we break the family, we they drum this thing, they bring this thing, the front burner. How many people they push this stock out there? So a lot of people they're oblivious of waiting they happen. Mm. So it now the government's responsibility to like the national orientation agency, certain people will be said they're supposed to they also they talk make people know that their responsibility where they will come out where we say people go know say these things then they out there if nobody say god bless the ordinary president you know give her wisdom and then he get the magnanimity to begin to day using airtime to push causes like this people this, the same happenings go they shrouded in in, in in secrecy and it will continue because nobody knows say this thing they happen. Mm -hmm. And please, everybody where they we're supposed to do everything possible to ensure say these people then get waiting they want get they go do them as quickly as possible mm -hmm. and then we'll go move on with our life. Now waiting I want to talk. Thank you. Make we appreciate Kelechi. <laughs> All right, my brothers and sisters, if I look time and I go see say time don't give us signal. Signal make we do it, make we continue to defer, not they go. So now we'll go open telephone line so that our people where they here for nigeria and those ones where they abroad go fit chook mouth on top of this matter make we get their own um, advice because you get some people now our nigerians where even they abroad way up to now then they for they, they hide even the work where them go say they want go do they know if you do one because they don't get correct documents if they come out now they catch them now to imprison them and then deport them back to nigeria so it can't be like saying a vanity upon vanity all now vanity